everybody, my name is Benjamin Bloom. I have just witnessed Hull City 2, Ipswich Town, nil. I've just walked out the ground. I've seen that Reading have won and Ipswich, after seven games, are bottom of the league. Ouch. Um, before we go through this and, I suppose, post-mortem it, um, here are the teams. So... For Hull uh, in a 4-2-3-1, Marshall in goal, Burke, Elphick, uh, DeVise and Kingsley across the back, Henriksen and Batty holding in midfield, Bowen on the right, Evandro in the middle and Kane, uh, the three, Kane on the left off the front, off Fraser Campbell up front, Ipswich, Gherkin in goal, a 4-2-3-1 for them as well, Spence, Pennington, Chambers, Knudsen are the back four. Flynn Downs comes in to play alongside Skews deep in midfield. So another configuration for Hurst. Uh, Edwards right, Nolan middle. Jordan Graham keeps his place, his second start on the left. And John Walters in the nine position. So still feels experimental from Hurst. Still feels like um, sort of well seven games and six six seven weeks into this now that we don't quite know what the team is what we do know is that no sooner had we all sat down to watch the game Ipswich were behind and um, in my summing up I was going to say this but Hull all game snapped into the tackle pressed well and uh, defended with energy on the front foot and that's how they got the ball for their goal so we're, we're only three minutes into the game and Flynn Downs comes into the team and I'm afraid he's badly at fault for this one. Um, he gets caught out, uh, just dwells on the ball. Um, it's snatched off in mid midfield. Campbell drives forward, very direct from him. Um, he goes down the right. Bowen makes the run ahead of him. It's a good run. It kind of says, right, look, play me the ball into this position and I'll do the rest. Um, he stays on side, Bowen. Um, in behind, Gherkin comes out, nice little dink over him. The ball's kind of trickling in slow motion into the goal. Pennington slides in to try and block it, but Pennington's running back so fast that his momentum's all going that way, and he kind of just takes the ball in with him. And it's a horrible start, a really, really horrible start. When you're down the bottom, when you're not winning, um, you want to stay solid and build your confidence up. You don't want... Uh, your guy who's just come in to give the ball away in centre midfield and to concede a goal on your on your first attack. It's an individual error and Hull take the lead early. Um, on 15, Guion Edwards wins the corner. Graham puts it to the back post. Good corner, this. Uh, skews on his own, heads it back across. Nolan arriving, heads it wide from six yards. Nolan should have hit the target there on 15. Uh on 17, nearly a carbon copy of the goal. Good press from Hull again. This time Chambers gets caught out. Campbell feeds Bowen. He's so fast, Bowen. Good acceleration. He's in behind. He doesn't pull the trigger early. I think Chambers is just alongside him. I think he's possibly waiting for a touch for Chambers and a guaranteed penalty. But Chambers, having made the mistake initially or getting caught out initially, uh, does well in the end that that doesn't result in a goal or a penalty against but um, definitely Hull capitalising on Ipswich's sort of slow ponderous play one team with energy one team without in this first 35 minutes um, third phase from a corner here Burke gets a header on goal fairly weak one through to Gherkin Hull well on top here uh, Bowen near post corner Evandro goes um, glances it and it goes all the way over um, First quarter of the game down, very poor from Ipswich. I've seen all of the games other than the Rotherham one, and this is the worst um, I've seen this season. Uh, two more corners for Hull on 32. The first one uh, kind of goes in low, one of those old Teddy Sheringham ones, and Davis has his shot blocked out. Elphick heads over from the second one. Uh, Walters wins a three kick. Joe Garner style, kind of backs into his man and then falls over. And this summed everything up. Everything lined up. Walters makes the run to the back post and Graham kicks it out and nothing doing. Um, now, from about 38 minutes, Ipswich actually play well. This is their best spell of the game. Uh, some one-touch stuff on the right. Spence 
feeds it to Nolan. Nolan slides it into the box to Walters. Walters gets it under control as best he can. He plays it to Graham. Graham is arriving uh, left-hand corner of the box. He takes a touch. He stands his man up. This is the only issue with Graham on the left is that everybody knows he's going in on his right foot. So the defender waits knowing he's not going to take him on. He makes the yard. Curls for the far post just wide. I think... That's going to be too predictable. Um, he's going to need to go with his left foot at some point and put the idea in the defender's head that he can go either way. Um, on 39, another chance. Knudsen does well here. Knudsen actually did propel the team forward during this period, which is strange considering he's the left back. Um, he makes a good run forward. At, um, nothing comes of that, but it puts Hull on the back foot and it's recycled to Graham. Crosses half quitted to Nolan. Nolan doesn't look confident. He, he hits it on the half volley with his left foot. Um, over it goes. Two good chances there for Ipswich. Um, Batty goes out on 40. Stewart comes in for him. Don't know what happened to Batty, presumably. Um, some kind of knock that he picked up. Um, on 43, really good play from Jordan Graham here. Picks up on the left and drifts right across. There looked like there was a ball on for Edwards. Um, I wanted it to go there. He doesn't play it there. He crosses it into the box, um, which actually keeps Edwards free. The ball then rolls out. Edwards is arriving. It's rolling along the ground. He sprints onto it. He hits it first time. It is going in the goal. And it's a really good block from the covering hull defence. Um, so that's half time. Um, without that first, uh, sorry, without the last 10 minutes, that would have been just an awful half for Ipswich. There were some signs in the last 10 minutes of that half. Um, a couple of little passing movements. Um, but in the main, the system not working. Um, individuals were... Well, Graham and Edwards did little tiny bits, but Walter's fairly anonymous. Nolan came on to the end of a couple of things. Skews and Downs finding it difficult against the the press. Um, so not really working. And once again, fullbacks, other than Knudsen in that last period, fullbacks not getting forward to support these wide guys, which you really need to do when there's one up front, else it's just isolated up there. Um, first 10 minutes of the second half were absolutely rubbish. Championship um, stuff. It um, woke up on 56. Edwards crosses from the right um, over Walter's head. Graham is arriving. He's in the six-yard box. Bounces up at him. Goes for the chest control and can't control it inside the six-yard box. Groans went up. Looked quite a difficult one to control, but... You know, sometimes you see confident players and confident teams. The player controls it and sweeps it in. There you go. Uh, second phase of that attack continues. Falls to Downs on the edge of the box. He skews the the right-footed 20-yarder wide. Um, nice curving cross from the right from Burke. Campbell glances his header wide. Uh, Chambers steps out and Bowen shoots behind him again on... 59. He slides it to Campbell. Campbell takes a touch, shoots right-footed from about 10 yards. Uh, Gherkin down to his left. He makes the save. He doesn't hold on to it. He spills it. And Knudsen's coming across the cover, but he's on his right foot. He doesn't quite know what to do. Ends up running it across his own six-yard box, heart in mouth, and clears it out. Did it all quite um, quite calmly in the end. Um, Ipswich counter on 65. Edwards can't beat his man. Downs to Graham. Cuts in, um, edge of the box, curls the right foot, a pretty weak one straight at Marshall. Um, Irvine was coming back from an injury for Hull, so he didn't start. They've missed him. He comes in for Kingsley, so uh, Kane goes in at left back and Irvine sits in the midfield on that left-hand side. No sooner has Irvine come on, Bowen slid through again. Um, no hint of bias here. This one did look a little bit offsidey, if that's a word. Uh, flag stays down though, which is back line all at sea. Um, Bowen crosses it and it's kind of scrambled away, bouncing about there. Jackson comes in for Flynn Downs. I think Downs didn't look the same after the mistake for the goal. Um, 4-4-2, this looked like for the last period. It looked more straightforward with Jackson alongside uh, Walters. Um, great corner from Graham. Flashes it right across and the hull head gets there first. Just nicks it um, and it flies right across the face here. Uh, big goal kick now. And this is this is annoying because 
Um, Hull didn't do too much to, to get through in the last 20 minutes of this game. Uh, flicked on. Pennington comes out to win the header and he doesn't win. It leaves the gap behind him. Bowen into the box. Right footed. Good save by Gherkin with his feet. Uh, Gherkin stands up well. Strong right foot to save that from... Bowen's shot there. Uh, Jackson rolls Stewart on the halfway line. We see this a lot. Um, professional foul here by Stewart. Yanks him down, literally rugby tackles him. Takes the yellow card to stop the counter. Uh, takes one for the team. Danny Rowe gets in here. Um, interestingly, Guion Edwards comes off. There is three games this week, and Edwards has been Ipswich's best player this season, so you would think... Um, he'll probably be planning to start Edwards in both of those games. So you'd think he's just resting him there uh, for this last 15 minutes. So Graham goes over to the right and Rowe's going to play down the left-hand side on 79. Bowen is 1v1 with Chambers again. He's in slightly heavy touch, but Gherkin does really, really well. Um, times his sprint out and makes a good save. Um, obviously learned from the first half as well because... Um, he stands up really well. I think the save's actually with his chest, but um, well well played from, from Gherkin. There, Chambers gives away the free kick on 84, right side of the box. Bowen swings it over. I don't know whether it's a shot, don't know whether it's a cross, but it flies just wide. Uh, last sub from Hurst. Harrison comes in for Graham. Um, kind of sticks out on that side, but it looks 4-3-3-ish and just direct for the last five minutes while you're chasing the game. Uh it's one of Ipswich's favourite opponents, Chris Martin. Uh, the ex-Norwich guy comes in for Campbell um, on 87. And um, as you're setting up the grandstand finish, you've brought um, Harrison on, who's a good player. And uh, just a rubbish goal for 2-0 for Hull. It's 89 minutes. It's a big boot forward. They let it bounce. And I don't like digging out Ipswich players. I'm behind all Ipswich players. I like Spence and... Um, a lot of people were surprised he came back in for Danassi, and I think the loan thing's an issue there. Thought he did well against Norwich, thought he did passably today, but it's really, really bad. Um, he's with Irvine coming towards the edge of the area. Ball's bounced, it's coming over, and I don't know whether he's expecting Gherkin uh, to come out and clear everything out he certainly has misjudged the pace of the ball <sighs> he then has a little tug at Irvine Irvine's out must have been. he's a big guy Irvine and he's mobile as well in he goes one touch finish poor really really poor both goals um so preventable and it's not even like you can show Downs and Spence the videos and say oh right you need to do this and this but they know what they need to do and you know it's just individual mistakes Hurst can be blamed for some things here but he can't be blamed for um, individual mistakes um, there you have it 2-0 for Hull um, and you have to take this seriously now um, come on here every week oh we're building up to something um, there's signs each week We've played seven games and we haven't won any of them and we're bottom of the league. So this this is a fact. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. Um, I thought with some of the defeats um, there were mitigating factors, but today um, we just weren't very good. And I think Hull have a good player in Bowen and Campbell's a very industrious forward, but... Ipswich are going to come up against much better teams. For example, Brentford this Tuesday. Uh, much better drilled teams with much um, perhaps more skillful individual players. And Hull pressed well and they, they tackled well. A couple of experienced players. Um, Elphick looks like a good addition. Uh, Bowen's the danger. And that won them the game. A couple of individual mistakes. Poor from Downs for the first goal. Poor from Spence for the second goal. The... Um, if you're Hull, you did your job. I just don't think it's very difficult to beat Ipswich at the moment. Sheffield Wednesday did it with a couple of set plays. Rotherham did it with a with a set play. Derby did it with a couple of set plays. And Hull have done it with against a couple of individual um, mistakes. The big worry I've got is, and I said this after the Norwich game, there was a kind of line of 
of progress. It was Harrison up front and things building up behind him, fairly sort of settled in Ciala in. Um, and since the Sheffield Wednesday game and the loan window, well, Graham's come in now, Walters is in and he's off the front and now he's up front and Harrison's not starting and Jackson's not starting. Um, the only constants really, uh, Knudsen, Chambers, Skews and, and Edwards, it seems like every other place in the team, frankly, is up for grabs, even the goalkeeping position, which um, we've seen the three times player of the year. Um, now, he's out, although, as you can hear from my comments, Gherkin um, got stitched up for both of the goals, really, and um, made two good saves as well from Bowen. So, Gherkin, I expect to play all the games this week. Um, I don't expect to see Bart um, soon, um, certainly until Gherkin makes a big mistake in a game. Um, so, it's worrying... Um, not a lot of signs of things clicking um, really the only threat today was the odd Edwards dribble and the odd Graham dribble uh, Walters is isolated and um, I don't know what you're expecting him to do a lot of balls booted into him um, he's never been the greatest um, quality on the ball Walters and um, I think he needs people around him Nolan, we're all excited about him not really happening and um, it seems each week our midfield, the, whoever the two are, they they lose the battle. Um, Pennington passable, Shame, Chambers shaky, Knudsen passable, Spence passable but cautious, didn't get forward at all and Gherkin probably, uh, probably actually a, a thumbs up but gem, generally the individuals as you can hear only a few of them stood out and the team um, I'm not saying it's never going to work but at the moment it's it's not working at all and there's clear evidence seven games no wins bottom of the league not not looking good um, so Brentford come up on Tuesday Brentford are the best team I've seen play this season they keep the ball very very well um, might, even, might even do it which is good to have a clear underdog tag for those games because uh, people know Brentford are good, and they know how you're going to have to how you're going to have to play to stop them. Um, I'll reserve judgment on how worried I am, but if there's no wins by the end of this week, and that's nine games, and you've played the likes of Bolton, Rotherham, Hull, Blackburn, Blackburn might finish quite well, but a lot of teams that were lower ranked from the evidence of last season, you haven't won any of the games. It looks a bit worrying um, if you're a Hull fan what are the expectations this season um, did you think you played well today or did you think we were a soft touch um, if you're an Ipswich fan which obviously is the majority of the audience um, what what do you do to fix this now because at the moment it's not working and I was seeing uh, where the progress could come from and without being a huge downer today I did not see um, where the progress is going to come from and where the wind's going to come from. Anyway, enough of my depression. Um, that'll get even worse when I turn the sat-nav on and see how long it's going to take me to get home from, from Hull. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it wasn't too downbeat. I try and be enthusiastic, but that wasn't good. That wasn't good performance today, so I can't. Um, follow me on Twitter, at Benjamin Bloom. Uh, comment, please. Um, ideas on how this is going to be, be fixed would be... Um, would be appreciated rather than um, everyone agreeing how terrible this was today. Um, follow me on Twitter, Benjamin Bloom. Thumbs up, subscribe, etc., etc. And be back tomorrow with a championship review, um, a podcast tomorrow night, more, more of this. Please still tune in, though. I'm sure it'll be fun. Um, and we're back for Brentford on, on Tuesday where we need a reaction. From Hull, over and out. Goodbye.